Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy. I just want to do a quick video, just kind of what I'm up to and um, how things are going in my life. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, so a lot of changes in my life, of course. Most of you know, if you've been watching my channel, that I just moved to Florida. Well, I say just, but I guess that was the end of June. Time goes by really fast. I'm still working for Amazon, working from home, and I don't know if I'll keep doing that. I always look for something more permanent because the Amazon is seasonal, so I don't know if that's just gonna end abruptly, and then what, what would I do? Um, and I've talked about that too. So sometimes I look for a job, sometimes I don't. If I see something like maybe administrative, secretary type of thing, um, I definitely have to do something where I'm sitting down because of my ankle. I can't be on my feet all the time. And so that's why I look for a secretarial job. I think I could do that. It's, um, I think I've got qualifications to make that happen. And yeah, so I just kind of look just to keep it open, I guess, and just see what happens. I apply, but, you know, applying online is, I don't know, it's, to me, I don't think it does much. But anyway, so um, I've also been making my little scrubbies. So um, that's what these are. I like these. These look kind of Christmassy. So I have that one, and then this is a different color. And um, I like the multicolored yarn because I just think it looks pretty. So how I make these is I use this yarn right here. And this is Scrubology yarn. And so I, I have it in gray and white. I have some in different colors. I'm not going to show all of them. But I have a red and a green and so forth. And um, what I do is I use cotton yarn. So this is... This is called Crafter Secret. It's from Hobby Lobby. And there's also um, peaches and cream, same type of cotton. And so this I was going to do with red or green of this and make some scrubbies from this. This makes, um, that's what this one is. This, it, it makes it just a little bit stiffer because the cotton is stiffer with this one. If I use a softer cotton, which I do love this. This is called I Love This Cotton. And I do love this cotton. Why? Because it's soft. But the scrubbies are are not as stiff. They're which it doesn't matter. They still do the same thing. I need to keep looking at the camera. They do the same thing. Um, I love these things. I used to use sponges all the time. And I'm not much of a dish rag person. I do crochet dish dishcloths, and I like those. Um, but still, I use those for wiping down the counter. But for actual washing dishes. I use these. I just put a little bit of soap, um, my Dawn dish soap on them, and I love it. It's I can use it on my Teflon. I can use it on anything. And um, so, yeah, I love these things. And I also use it to scrub my vegetables. Sometimes I'll try to have a green one, but now my green one has become my dish one. And, you know, um, so that's just what I've been working on here some more. And I've tried to... Um, I'd love to do a craft show somewhere, but I don't know right now where I am, if there'll be any in the fall, but it would be nice to set up a booth. So I am working on trying to get a ton made because if I had a booth, I'd want to sell mostly these. Um, I do two for $5 and, and I've thought about doing online selling, but with online selling, you have the shipping and if I charge Let's say I charge $3 for shipping. I don't even think that would cover everything. It wouldn't cover the cost of the envelope. And then the packaging that I put this in, I get clear plastic bags. And then um, it probably costs three something to ship them. So that's tough. You know, I'd almost have to charge $4 in shipping. And I still think I'm taking a cut in the shipping. So shipping's expensive, and you and you think, well, you know, it only costs you two seventy five to ship it. Yeah, but you had to buy the envelope to put it in, 
and I try to get those with the bubbles in them and then the pack the plastic packaging I get the clear packaging from um, like the art department in Hobby Lobby that you would put pictures in so it's nice and clear not like a Ziploc bag or anything so uh, yeah the presentation and the packaging of what you put it in that's expensive as well so but here's the thing about these these don't take me long to make okay so I make them pretty quick and I, I can sit and make them and then when I what I did is I wanted to see how many can I make with one of these so like the other yarn that I use this stuff and this stuff I haven't really calculated how many I can get out of these um, I don't know that I need to but I did calculate this so um, this is 429 and I usually get it when they're 30% off so I'm paying three dollars for this okay so I did calculate I can make 18 scrubbies 18 of these with one of these and of course I use the other yarn too but I'm just calculating what it costs to use this yarn so 18 of these that's about what did I calculate 16 cents in materials which that's just the scrubby yarn so let's say 16 cents with the other one let's round it because right that's how we do math we round right so let's say it costs 40 cents to make one of these in materials so you, you charge five dollars that's pretty good um, so to make both of them let's say it's a dollar we'll just round it up a dollar in materials to make both of these and then um, but the packaging you know that's gonna cost I don't even know I haven't calculated that um, so you know there's all the little costs and you want you don't want to get where you're just kind of barely clearing what you put into it financially because then you're not making a profit or anything it's not worth it so I do like to make them I will probably give a lot as gifts I do give them away a lot but um, I just like them I think they work well they hold the soap I use Dawn dish soap and they hold it and um, I put a little um, make it kind of raise a little bit to kind of hold it sometimes it flattens out after use it becomes just a solid circle which it still works though but this sometimes it stays up for a while and um, yeah I've made a lot of them so I've got I've got all these in here this is what I made from one thing and that's my 18 there and um, here's some more red and pink with the white and then just pure white ones I think this was a navy one. Oh, this is I like that color this came below so I may have used a smaller hook or something I don't know it's kind of curved smaller oh I like this it has purples and blues I don't know tell me what y'all think about them because like okay let's just ask you this question let's say you're at a craft show or flea market and you see these laying all over the table um, would it be something that you pay five dollars for two of them you know to, they're great stocking stuffers they're great stocking stuffers and I have thought about opening my Etsy store again and um, so you know just try like I said just focus mostly on this and maybe have other things um, like tote bags and stuff I'm looking at a tote bag to make it's like a drawstring tote let's talk about that because we talked about scrubbies enough but I get the yarn 30% off so I wanted to say this is three dollars at 30% off and then this one I love this cotton which makes wonderful dishcloths too dishcloths just take a long time if I were to sit today and make some I maybe get two or three made in one day but these I can get a ton made if I just sit and make them so um, let's see this is 379 265 30% off and that's the only time that I buy them this is a deal it's 229 just straight out it's before it's even on sale so on sale it's a dollar sixty so um, good deal right here so the cost of materials to make these not too bad the time these I just really like these <laughs> the time to make it not too bad um, I think the packaging costs more than the materials to make it and then the shipping would be three or four dollars and so um, I don't know that people would pay let's see five six seven eight I'd probably charge nine dollars 
for two. And that would include shipping. Probably should just round it off to ten. I think on Etsy sometimes I see them for eleven dollars, but I understand why, because you haven't even really calculated your time in there too. So, yeah. But anyway, Scrubbies. Another thing I want to try and make is I got this. I I went ahead and did this club thing. It's called Anne's Annie's A N N I E S, and she she has. Um, she does have crocheting clubs and fabric clubs and her quilting clubs and stuff. Well, I ordered the quilting one. So this is the one I got. So what this one comes with is it comes with these fabric squares. Okay. And so um, I get these different fabric squares and it's really pretty. This has some birds on it, I think. Yes. There are birds on here. I don't know if you can see it. There's birds on here. So really pretty. And then there's a fabric that you would use as a liner. And then there's this one. That's pretty too. They're all really nice, of course. And then there's this one. This one. And then this one. So you think, oh, what are you going to do with those? Well. I'm not sure. I've been looking for ideas and I came across this tote bag that um, it's like an origami tote bag. It looks really easy to make and I thought you know that would be something that would still show the prettiness of the material and it's a little drawstring bag. Um, you can just put stuff in it and when you're traveling and stuff. So that's one idea. And of course I've made other tote bags which I've shown you before on my channel. And what else have I thought about? I think about tote bags because you can still see the material. I do make these coiled baskets but I'd have to rip these into strips and then you don't see the birds. Okay, So you lose the birds. You still have the colors but I, I want to keep the fabric. I've got some other fabric I've bought that I love. It's feathers and stuff. And I think, what can I make with all of this stuff that's still going to show the prettiness of the fabric? So these origami um, fabric bags, I think, are going to be something I try. And um, the thing of it is, though, since I've moved, I can't find my cutting board that I would lay my fabric on and cut with. So yeah, I don't know if it's in my storage container. I can't find it here so yeah and so I hate that when you move because then you're like well now I got to go buy that again so I just don't see it. I usually tuck it behind something to keep it flat but it's just something you put on the table so you can cut on it so I was all excited about making these drawstring bags but now I can't do it because I don't have my cutting thing so but when I get them made I will show you guys I don't know how long I'll stay in this club, but I did want to get some of the fabric samples and I already have a lot of fabric myself. So if these bags are something that are easy to make, um, it might be something that I try to put together. So what I'm going to, what I'm working on is just trying to get a bunch of inventory made. And if I decide to open my Etsy store again, um, and definitely these would be the main thing, the scrubbies, um, little tote bags would be nice I think. I've thought about making jewelry um, travel cases but I don't know how how much time you don't want to get something where it takes you a ton of time to make because then it defeats the person's purpose. But anyway that was just sharing all my craft stuff because why? Because it brings me joy. Okay um, I don't know why I like that they're so soft. I don't know I just I like it because I can finish it and, and complete it and, and they're good they they work so um, I'm not selling something that's um, you know a piece of trash it's I, I like it. it and so um, I've also noticed like even with the mask that I made I've bought masks from people and I bought a mask from somebody at a flea market the red barn place that I went to here and I got it home and I was looking at it and I thought she didn't even go around the edge to make it look professional and um, so 
I'm not the best seamstress, seamstress in the world, but I will do a good job and I'll do the best job that I can. And so um, after buying that one, I thought, man, my masks are so much better than this. So at least I know that, that I, I, do, I can do a good job at it. So that made me feel good. Um, but another thing, and you know, this is already 14 minutes, I don't wanna to go too long. And it's probably good not to talk about this too much anyway, but you know, I dropped my youngest off at college. And um, so then you're alone. And, which you were alone anyway, it was just, you know, in some respect, as far as um, not having a spouse or a partner or something, and that's what I'm talking about, the alone. Um, growing old alone, being alone. And that thought process that, in my mind, when I thought about my life, and getting older and retiring, and I never thought I was gonna be alone. I thought I was gonna get married and I'd have my spouse and so anything any phases you go through you always had somebody to go through it with well that changed for me and so um, when you go through a divorce as many of you know there's a lot of deaths with so many things and sometimes the deaths are right at the beginning but sometimes the disappointments and deaths are coming later in life and you're thinking wait I wasn't supposed to be doing this alone but I am and so I'm moving into that phase of life, what, the empty nest, um, alone. And um, with my animals, I know I have my animals, and, um, and I know God is always there. And, and I think the fact that I hope I'm close enough to Him that that's what helps me get through all of this. I really feel compelled to go to the beach, <laughs> but I don't know if I will tonight. So, um, anyway it's it's been tough I'm not saying that I'm just breezing through and no big thing you know it is it is a big thing and if my daughter's having a hard time there and she's telling me she, you know she can't handle it or whatever then that makes me feel bad too so it's been tough and um, just trying to make sure I don't sink in a depression I think you know just yeah I don't want that uh, but I have been sad and I've cried a lot and trying not to do that right now because I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's not like things are horrible in my life. It's just a phase change, I think. And it's just adapting to that. So, trying to keep busy, make my scrubbies. Y'all let me know what you think about these. Um, I know I have sent some to some of you and um, I do like to have feedback, feedback and that's why a lot of times I just give them, I give them to people and say, hey, let me know how you think about those. And I have had one friend who, she loves them too. And she said, I always use it, I love it. And you know, I always think about you when I, you know, she's giving it to her sister. But um, yeah, I love to have feedback. And um, um, anyway, if you want some, let me know, I'll send you some. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna end it here. It's been too long, too long of a video. Hopefully I'll get these bags made. I may run over to stores and see if my thing's over there and um show you guys what those drawstring bags i got to get some ribbon too so all right y'all find joy wherever you find it and um i hope you're i hope things are going well for you think about the positive things i'm telling you satan is going to creep in and um if you're like the how i am now he could really turn it and make it really bad for me and um don't let him don't let him do that don't let your thoughts, your negative thoughts, rule how you are. Um, try to stay positive. Find things to do, even if it's making a scrubby. <laughs> find things to do that will bring you joy. And um, and I do like to give them to people. I would love to make money and a profit because, yeah, I'm always trying to find something to do so you don't have to work that 9 to 5, you know, um, to have more freedom and stuff. So, anyway. All right, I'm going to end this again because I keep saying I'm going to end it, and I don't. So, y'all be blessed, and um, I hope everything is going well for you. And comment below. I love to see your comments and hear from you all. So, until next time.